Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen Wicklin and here are some of the scariest videos that I could find for you on TikTok. It's gonna, it's gonna be a big show I feel because I got a lot. I got a lot of really good ones. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Join the shadow workers. I don't know. I don't know what to call y'all. Memberships are on the channel. They are available. I do have some cool little perks that I am uh, offering to new members. Nice little shout out on the channel, shout out on lives. Come join us, it'll be fun. I do plan to add more to the memberships in the f future, but this is just a jumping off base and come hang out. So what do y'all think of this one? This is way darker than you think. In the game, you're trying to have the best outfit, but there's a nail technician named Lana. If you looked at her desk, she explains how she was mistreated in the past, and no one truly knew her name, so she wanted to seek revenge. In the new update, she has her own nail studio with missing posters. In her diary, it says she was replaced with a doppelganger, and that Gigi the creator is holding her hostage. On the right side of the page, it says find me, with the user ID. If you search it, you find this player. They have some creepy YouTube videos linked in a game that she created. If you join the game, you'll find yourself in a red forest that tells you weird words like missing, trust no one, and doppelganger. You get a red orb that transfers you to a maze. You follow the posters of Lana, but make sure the doppelganger doesn't get you. If you get to the end, it tells you this isn't the end with numbers and binary code. If you crack the code, it tells you the evil still lurks throughout this is not the end and there will be chaos then if you go back into dress and press you receive a dress that has been torn maybe this is where lana was sliced by the creator make sure to follow for the next part dress okay so they didn't even get into half half of the lore that was i mean that's a good basis of like what the heck is going on but i am a full-on believer the more i get into this the more i look into roblox on this it is all about a cult but i am starting to believe that this is a real cult this is a real cult that is hiding behind a game i haven't quite figured it out yet but i have figured out how to beat the game so if you all want me to do a live i really want to do a live where we play this game we unwrap some more of the lore it's just really fun there's a lot of stuff a lot of there's a lot you you would think oh like there's just one game no there's like several games there's hundreds of accounts hundreds of accounts that this specific player is linked to and it's all part of the lore. Every account you go into, there's more stuff to, oh, it's, it's very fascinating. It's a game, again, mind you, but uh, I also am starting to think that there might be more to this game. And like I said, I have figured out the code on how to beat it. So if you'd like to see that, just let me know down in the comment section down below. This is a fun game though. Anyways, moving on. Okay, what's this? creepy oh my goodness that was really good that was one of those short horrors but man that was good hold on let me get my glasses on hey i've discovered something that i can't figure out what it is and i need your help i just bit into it because i was on the street and we were discussing whether this was a tomato or not it's definitely not because look at these leaves those are the leaves so what the heck is this? Because when you open it up, it looks like that. And if I bite it, I don't think you're supposed to eat this. But it's almost like a pepper. Does anyone know what this is? I don't know it's what it is. It's not very, this I need someone to tell me, I'm in England. The scariest Thank thing you. about this okay, is- I've discovered something that I- Scariest thing about this is like, if you were to find Alicia Silverstone outside your home, picking cherry peppers from your cherry pepper plant because that's what those are 
I love cooking with them though. They're really good. She must be in Italy because you mainly use that in Italian dishes, cherry peppers. I don't know. Just saying. Oh, she goes, I'm in England and can't figure it out. Oh, England's really close. To, <laughs> England's really close to Italy. How bold and brave of her just to eat something she saw off the street. I'm the reason you should not go near the water in Alaska. Hello, my name is Urban. I am a koala pilot, and we are responsible for thousands of missing children. We live in the waters of northern Alaska. The Inuit people have been telling our story for hundreds of years, and I'm like a siren. We are not pretty in any way. We have long greasy hair, oh. scaly skin, and webbed fingers. Oh, we God. wear legs, which are coats with a big pouch to carry babies. We need children to feed on their young energy so we can stay immortal. We hide near like the, the edge of water I don't and like wait the for a moment where the children are alone. Then we lure them over with our strange hum. Oh, God. And when they are close enough, we quickly snatch them into our pouch oh. and dive deep into the cold dark water without making a sound, never for them to be seen again. After this has all happened, the Alaskan people will realize. I'm the reason you should not go near the water in Alaska. Hello, my name is Er- I hate this AI crap. I hate this AI crap. Are you kidding me? This is an urban legend in Alaska? Are you serious? Look how urban. I am a terrifying. And we are responsible children we live in the waters of oh my god i don't know what else to make okay let's we have let's long greasy hair scaly skin and webbed <laughs> fingers we wear mattocks which are coats with a big pouch to carry babies we need hello. hello my name goes hello hello oh the heck who came up with this nightmare fuel i gotta screenshot that <laughs> A screenshot of that oh my god that one's terrible that's terrifying okay let's hide in the comment section real quick what do they call themselves i am a koala pilot and we are koala pilot koala pilot i've never even heard of those i know there's lots of urban legends and there's lots of folklore especially when it comes to native americans like because listen the things that they saw because they lived in the woods they lived outside they didn't live sheltered in houses the things that they report that they saw and believe in someone said why is it cute well then you go with them look at the it's not cute it's, it's not cute moving on moving on what's this emily couldn't shake the feeling that something was off about the new Ever garden gnome Okay, hold on, it says, ever felt uneasy around garden gnomes? This chilling tale might explain why. Discover the sinister secrets lurking. Lurking. Oh, shadow lurkers. <laughs> lurking in your own backyard. Also, if you all, if you like that name, let me know. If you don't, I am more than willing to change it. Um, I may have or may not have used AI to come up with the name. So if you love it, I came up with it. If you hate it, it was AI. But Shadow Lurkers, I thought was kind of fitting since we're always talking about shadow people. But anyways. It had appeared overnight, a grotesque figure with a toothy grin and eyes that seemed to I follow her. I love gnomes. She asked her husband, but he swore he hadn't bought it. Over the next oh. few days, she noticed small animals, squirrels, birds, disappearing from their yard. One night, she woke to the sound of whispering, she grabbed a flashlight and crept I don't outside. Like it. <laughs> I don't like it. The gnome was gone. I get chills she turned to see it standing behind her, its eyes now glowing red. Frozen in terror, she blinked, and the gnome leapt, its mouth wide open. The last thing she saw was that toothy grin closing in. The next morning, her husband found only the gnome, its grin wider, and a faint trace of blood on its lips. Emily couldn't shake the feeling that something was <laughs> oh, off about- Oh god. Ever felt uneasy around garden gnomes? This chilling tale might explain why. It's like, uh, it didn't really explain anything. Nothing, actually. But good story. Gnomes, I mean, I've, I've heard lots of stories. I've seen videos before. In fact, I wonder if I'd ever be able to find that. It was an old school video that someone had caught, like, of gotten, like, a gnome in their garden. But I haven't seen it in forever. Let me know what y'all think about gnomes. See, I I don't have any gnomes sitting outside, but I do own some gnomes. 
Moving on. Did you know that Louisville, Kentucky has a tree that belongs to witches? It's a standing testament to a famous local lore in the late 19th century. This tree is called the Witch's Tree. According to legend, this was a gathering place for a coven of witches who performed ceremonies and spells around this tree. Right across the street, the city planning committee decided to remove the tree ahead of an annual May Day celebration. This really pissed the witches off greatly, so they decided to cast a curse. Exactly 11 months of the day after the tree was cut down, the city suffered a horrific storm. Storm. destroyed the entire city but a lightning struck on the stump of the old witch's tree and a new tree began growing in its place this tree certainly looked different and to many locals they believe it was something otherworldly but on its knots and misshapen branches lie some trinkets and dolls as a gift from other witches who travel from near and far to pay respect to the witch's tree huh. and the coven of witches they used to gather around it. Wow, that According tree to another is legend, funky, If you steal a gift from this tree, you'll be walking away with a curse. Have you visited the Witch's Tree of Louisville, Kentucky? Did you know? Wait, she said what? If you do what by the tree? Used to gather around it. According to another legend, if you steal a gift from this tree, you'll be oh. walking away with a curse. If you visit Listen, if you steal in life, period, you walk away with curses anyways. That's like karma right um wow that's a really interesting looking tree too the way it grew that's all it's got well it got like um devastated with some kind of fungus and something or no wonder what the wonder what the comment section says it says sam and colby go there um someone goes wow i live in louisville and i never heard of it yeah i've never heard of it too not to say it doesn't exist but that is fascinating that's really that's really interesting i once knew a woman who was a wiccan so it does ex witches do exist but they're not like how you think you know <laughs> uh, witches today kind of or witches of the old castillo Di del diablo oh it's all in spanish Wow, look at that building. I'm just... Oh, there's like dragons? Oh, there's so many sculptures everywhere. I'm trying to figure out if I'm terrified or if I'm like, this is so cool. Oh, there's a big lady right there. There's ladies that... Three minutes long. How can this be three minutes long? Oh my god, it goes on. That's the backside. Wow. Someone said, imagine finding this underwater years from now with no explanation, right? Someone's got a big palace. Wow. Is that where Ozzy Osbourne lives? No, I'm just kidding. <gasps> it's in Mexico, hey? Wow. Okay, I'll probably get copyright struck by that song. Wow, that was interesting. Okay, here's one I saw that like blew my freaking mind. When the router speed matches your camera shutter. Look at that. Look at that. It's so creepy. Y'all, do you believe we're in a simulation yet? That's terrifying to me. I don't know why. But then how come that you can see that spinning? How come you see that spinning? Okay, so it's a different... It's a different... It's a different... Uh, okay. That's going at a different speed, maybe? What? I'm not smart enough to figure this one out. I like the biggie though. Wow. But how come you can see that one spinning? But I don't. So I'm over it. I am freaking over it. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Did she have like a hey seizure or something? Michael, what are you doing in that room? Why'd you lock the door? What's this? So there's this. Any of these scary? But why are you filming yourself brushing your teeth? Is my question. This first, I think she may have had a seizure. Oh, that one's. That one's mm. Oh, that poor girl. Oh. I like rusty spoons. Oh. I like. Salad to fingers. Them. <laughs> the feeling of rust against my salad oh, finger. Cold. I like rusty spoons. <laughs> it's not even rusty, I like though. to touch them. <laughs> the feeling of rust. Oh, God almighty. Um, if y'all have never checked out Salad Fingers, it's a sh it's a show on YouTube that has been like on man since, since I can remember watching YouTube. I want to say ten years, but I don't know if that's accurate or not. I've I've been watching Salad Fingers for a long time, and back in the day, that was the one that was that was the one thing back in the day where things were just creep. If you hear a weird noise, that's my dog snoring. Things were just like a little more creepier, a little like we didn't like know as much. You know what I mean? Like a lot more videos were like remained more secrety because we didn't have TikTok and stuff like that. But Salad Fingers is one of those where it's it's Against really good. There's a lot of salad lore. Thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Keep your eyes on her waist. Oh my god. Either that's she's the world's best editor. Someone said green screen. Oh wait. Do we how do we know? How do we what do hold on? Someone's like, it's called editing, bless. Yes right but you can literally that right there you could see it let me scrub back real quick so there's her shirt right there you could see it right you can s i don't know if that's if that's editing i mean yeah um yeah oh oh you see it more than once you see it right there Oh, it's back. Let's back up. Let's go back to the beginning. Here I go again. Oh, no, I'm on one of these. I promise I won't keep you guys here long. But there are more than one time and then you see this thing. I have a hard time believing at all that it's green screen. And you know, I don't... Okay, if you're new to this channel, one thing that I say often is I don't believe in ghosts. So I don't believe in ghosts. I do, however, believe in, like, demons and like energy is real real y'all we're made of energy think about how we exist and work and all right so it's freaky we're like living stars we're we're talking stars basically so for this could possibly be a demonic or i mean it could be a green screen but at the moment i don't see anything that screams green screen there's no it looks pretty legit but you do see this thing multiple times so right here you see it there's one now that was just her shirt oh right there you saw it if i back up right there right here right here you see it that's not the back of her shirt because it wouldn't be coming down lower like it's 
that's not i don't know green screen entity ghost i don't this this one lots of people are saying green screen editing see also the other problem too is if we were actually shown a ghost photo like in our face like a real legitimate ghost photo we still wouldn't believe it because we do this we'll f we find every avenue everything to explain it my dog is snoring up a storm hmm that's the back of someone's head all right beef i just want to say if it is editing <laughs> If it is editing, I mean, my God, girl, good job on you because you were moving, you were grooving. There's no way you could have stopped and cut. I, everything matches up, lines up perfectly with you. You would have had to, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. This one's got me. This one's got me good. Someone's like, and the Oscar goes to, hey, man, listen not too many videos give me the heebie-jeebies you know what i mean like i have my hair is standing up i have legit goosebumps like i didn't like this one at all Alrighty, let's get some i've ever had two neighbors since i moved into my own pineapple there's always been squidward the obnoxious nosy neighbor and patrick the dumb one who's so stupid that he doesn't even live in a real house my options for friends were limited so i ended up making the choice to befriend the town moron but the more I got to know Patrick, the more he surprised me. He's not nearly as dumb as he seems. Everybody knows he lives under a rock, and I'm sure everybody has a million questions about how that works. Where does he sleep? Where does he cook? Where does he go to the bathroom? Well, in reality, the answer to all that is connected to what's probably the biggest conspiracy in all of Bikini Bottom, and I'm involved in more than just covering it up. Patrick and I rolled together for years, which made everyone think I was just as stupid as him, but I'm not. I don't crap on my own floor and bury it in the sand like that filthy starfish. But in all this time I've known him, I've buried more than just a few hatchets alongside him. However, as time went on, I began to realize I couldn't keep hanging out with him. I was only ever his friend because nobody else would be my friend. And for that reason, I've been slowly creating distance. Unfortunately, that's a lot easier said than done. Recently, Patrick's been catching on to my game, and it's been upsetting him. Just the other night, I was deep asleep in bed when I was woken up by someone banging on my door. It was Patrick, of course, and he was willing <laughs> to wake like up the, all like of Bikini banging. Bottom just to get to me. SpongeBob, buddy! Come on! Wake up! Let's do this! I tried to wait a few minutes to see if he would give up and go away, but that only worked the first few times, not this time. I know you're awake, SpongeBob! Don't leave me hanging! I know you can hear me! I'm not leaving without you! I knew at that point that he would never leave unless I went down there to talk to him, so I dragged myself out of bed and shuffled downstairs to the front door i've only ever had two neighbors since that's I moved it into that's it well let's see if we can find the next one just watch pa well, be right when i opened it i was taken aback by the look on patrick's face he was holding a jellyfish net and when he comes to my door in the middle of the night with one of those i know what it means hey spongebob jellyfish wanna go jellyfishing <sighs> No, Patrick, I can't. Yes, you can. Come on. What's stopping you? It's late, Pat. Can't we do this in the morning? No, no, Sponge. You know we can't. Listen to me. I don't want to do this nighttime jellyfishing anymore. I want to retire from it. How could you say that? We've got such a good thing going. And you're going to make me go back to doing it myself? Look, I'm sorry, but I just don't think the late night jellyfishing life is for me anymore. I'm getting too old, Patrick. I have to focus on my career at the Krusty Krab. Liar! You know you could quit that crummy job in a heartbeat if you just went to work with me. You're choosing to abandon the best opportunity you'll ever have. Why? Because it's wrong, Patrick. It's evil. You are evil. I see. It wasn't wrong when we were doing it together, but now that you don't want to be friends with me anymore, all of a sudden it's evil. I can't believe you, SpongeBob. You better believe it, Patrick. So these are your true colors, huh, buddy? You're a traitor. I'm not betraying you. I'm just moving on. You can't move on, huh? 
I won't let you. You better grab your net and come, or you're gonna realize how big of a mistake you're really making right now. Leave me alone, or I'm calling the cops! I tried to slam the door in his face, but he wedged his foot underneath it, barred <gasps> straight in. I then ran for my life as he chased me into my house. He was close behind me the whole time. I don't Had like he gotten this a hold Spongebob. of me, he would have tried to kill me without a doubt. I'm sure he wouldn't have even hesitated either. But luckily, I was able to get around a corner and lose him by hiding someplace I knew he'd never seen me before. Oh, Spongebob, where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. I held my breath in silence for an eternity before he finally gave up and left. I waited to make sure he wasn't coming back. Then, I crawled out from my hiding spot and went to my bedroom window to watch him head into town. When I opened it, I was taken aback by the look on- There isn't a part three, thank God. God, listen. I love SpongeBob. I don't like this version of SpongeBob. Oh wait, nope. You see, nighttime jellyfishing is nothing like regular jellyfishing. It doesn't take place in the fields, but on the streets of Bikini Bottom the last itself, one. and it doesn't have anything to do with jellyfish at all. A few hours later, Patrick returned with his net sagging with the bounty of a successful trip. The poor soul that he managed to capture, a bound and gagged fish that never saw it coming. Patrick lived lifted up his rock, looked around one last time, then disappeared beneath it with going... his newest toy in tow. Nobody on- I thought he was going jellyfishing. Why does he have fish? The ocean floor, but me and Patrick knows what lies below his rock. Most people think he lives in a barren, dirty hole in the ground, but in reality, that's just the facade for something far greater. With the flip of a switch, he can reveal a hidden tube from the floor, drop his victim inside, watch them get sucked under ground, then flip the switch again and make the whole thing disappear. As for the destination of that tube, well, I've only seen it a few times, but you'd be utterly shocked to find out just how many sea creatures live underground as Patrick's captives. It's almost an entire city where all the citizens are subservient to him, giving him everything he wants, even if it's their own flesh for him to snack on. Admittedly, I've added to the population myself, and of course taken part in the sport as well, but he eventually came to realize the depth of the evil I was committing. And now, all I want to do is forget that I ever contributed to something so awful. You see, I don't I like it. I don't like it. I love SpongeBob. You've just ruined SpongeBob for me. Oh, why? Why? Who thinks of these things? Why? Why does horror tunes? Why do you have to really? SpongeBob horror actually scares me. Me too, Eugene. Me too. <sighs> okay. This is terrifying. Did you see it? Yeah, but. so fast how I don't know how they even caught that themselves oh my god Ew. oh it's finger look gray yep shut the door shut the door and run Why would he go back out and look? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. 
god. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. It's absolutely horrifying. I love Spanger Look Right. He does some of the best short horrors that I can find, honestly. Well, I personally like them. They're very subtle. They're very, like, but, like, you don't understand. Wait, are, is he where is this spooky guy wearing the same socks as him? And the same shorts? He's wearing the same socks and shorts as him. All he did was put a, he's like, oh, I have to put shoes and a t-shirt on for this part. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. So much, uh, this is, again, I'm gonna need you to get an intro. Listen, I have said this, for the love of God, get an intro. He does not need an intro, people. He does not need an intro. I don't know, why does he need an intro? The, someone said the demons are his intro. Exactly, exactly. I love it. Some of the best ghost photos ever captured. Daughter alone in the house and the ghastly apparition in the back. Waverly Hills Sanitar Sanitarium, Louisville, Kentucky. Again with Louisville. Photo is said to be of Mary Lee, a nurse who committed to, uh, who, a nurse who did the thingy. That's what we're going to call it. I think uh, Papa Meat calls it the, the sewer highway. This I can't remember. The sewer highway? Um, in the early 1900s, after being impregnated by a doctor. Oh, what did the one before that say? Photo taken by in a nursing home, unknown location, allegedly 15 minutes prior to the photo being taken, a resident had passed away. And then that one said, mother and daughter alone in the house, had a daughter, a ghostly, ghastly visitor or whatever. Oh, how do you explain that one? Allegedly, only three people are supposed to be in this photo. I'm trying to... I got the chills. I'm creeped out. Photo taken in Alice Springs, Australia. Two photos taken of a group of friends in Morocco, Austria. One without flash and one with in the flash photo only taken seconds apart. A blurry extra head can be seen. First of all, I love the aesthetic. This is really cool. I absolutely love it. I don't know what restaurant you're at, but it's cool. Okay, here's the second photo coming up. Oh my god, and she's like, she is bigger than the rest of them. She's like coming through that table. Now, you, back in the day with film, you could like oops, superimpose other photos on film, like on your photos without even trying it. It was very easy, but I, ugh. Not saying these are real or fake. Let me know what you think, someone said. Wow, that one I don't like. <laughs> Spirit appears to be examining the wall. Or is this one at the Winchester house? <laughs> Photo taken through the window of an empty prison cell in Alcatraz. So I've been to Alcatraz numerous times and this is a photo they show you when you're at the jail because a tourist had taken this photo they tell you when it was like in the 80s or something like that or early 90s and when they developed a film this is what they got no what you don't understand that most people don't explain to you is this photo that they take uh, this photo is being taken this window right here is part of um uh like the housing cells like if you would go to visit prisoners to talk to them this is the prisoners would be on the other side of this glass right here this you would come to visit the jail to talk to them through this piece of glass like this is so behind this glass all that there is is an empty room where there would have been probably other tourists walking through there at the time but this is because you can see, yeah this is this is one of those photos where people, like, and they swear when they took this photo that there was no one in this room. This is one of those photos, and Alcatraz had such a weird vibe about it. I couldn't explain it. It was a, it was kind of like the prison um, in St. Augustine. Same vibe, same, like, you really can't explain the vibe. It's weird. Alcatraz is definitely one of those places. Photo taken by a police officer in 1984 of a car accident where a teenager boy lost his life. Oh, I don't like this one. It the f there's a face? Is that like a- Oh, I don't like that one. 
some of the best ghost photos ever. Okay, and that's where it starts. Okay, let's find one more. A woman presses her face against the mirror to take a selfie. What happens next is simply chilling. Let me know in the comments when you see it. Oh. A woman presses her face against the mirror to take a selfie. What happens next is simply chilling. Let me know in the comments when you see it. <laughs> don't, we'll watch it one more time. I don't know if... What? It doesn't... You know what? Hold on one second. That... Hold on. Okay, so I got really creeped out for a second. But... Hold on. I just gotta watch... I, I analyze every second. That's... Look at right there. This... This face blinked. Is this really a woman in the mirror or is this her twin? And they're just syncing up or trying to. See, she's blinking and smiling over here. And now looking. A woman presses her face against the mirror to take a selfie. What happens next is simply chilling. Let me know in the comments when you see it. Why would she press her face up against the... But already, it's not the same. But but how does it start off? Oh, I, just, I don't know. I don't know how this one, I don't... I think, I think it's twins who are trying... Do you see? I see the reflection of her... Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. So that's actually chilling. Because you see Let the reflection me know in the of you see the reflection of her curtain of the curtains in the background. But like the entire time the, the reflection does not match up. The entire time. When you see it. You see, and when you see it, it's the whole time. Look at right here, it doesn't look the same. Look at it's blinking, mouth closed, eyes open, mouth open. How would you not have noticed that? Look at smiling, not smiling, looking over. And also, this one looked well. This one, a didn't. woman press but you know it's a reflection because you see the curtain in the background. I don't know, y'all. I don't know what to make of this one. Please let me know what y'all think because the heck is a face against the mirror to take a selfie. What you happens see the next is simply of the chilling. Let me know in the comments when you it's see it. It's definitely a mirror. That is not. It's not this. That's not cool. Unless oh. Unless this is green screen effect, I have done this in one of my videos. Oh my god. Oh, how could I have not have seen this sooner? This one might just be part of oh, horror, horror talk. This one just might be part of creepy horrors kind of a thing, but it's well done. Really good editing is what I'm going to say. Someone said it's a filter on TikTok. I don't, maybe it could be. There's a lot of filters on TikTok. I have no idea. Let me know what you think of that one in the comment section down below. Massive unidentified sea creature has been caught on an oil rig camera. Massive unidentified sea creature. This is why I don't screw around with the ocean. It's like one of those phantom eels. Plasticus Vegas Vega Vegas. I don't think so. So this that reminds me of like um they're called I think they're called phantom eels. Gulper eel. Cause they can just like morph and change their body like that, but they're tiny. They're like teeny tiny. That thing is huge. Oh my god. This is why I don't go in the ocean. This is why I don't go in the ocean. Okay. Oh my god. Scared the crap out of me. That is from like Spirit Halloween. That's not real. I'm guessing this. Again. I'm kidding. Oh 
Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> the timing. The actual timing of that because those are just video screens that play auto, like, you know. Oh my god. Okay. <sighs> okay, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed some of the scariest videos that I could find for you on TikTok. Honestly, my little heart, my little heart can't take anymore. And if you would like to be a member and get some really cool perks of being a member, which include getting a shout out on the channel, getting a shout out on the channel for videos, shout out in the lives, really cool membership badges and really cool super chat stickers. So be part of the shout Shadow lurkers? I don't know. Again, let me know if you even like that name. Uh, AI came up with it, so. Alright, everybody. Could you love her? Oh, haunted, haunted house. Could you love me now? haunted, haunted Anyone can love a pretty little man